Hello, everybody. And uh, I'm sorry I'm not going to do the scarabs today, but uh, I'm a little tired. I'm trying real hard to catch up on stuff, so um, I'm going to do something that's a little bit easier. And I don't have to explain so much, and it shouldn't take too long, because honestly, I'm super tired. But I still wanted to have my life with you. Um, so, what we are going to use is, let me grab everything, make sure that everything is okay. Yeah. There we go. Hi, Cherry. Hi, Judy. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Chris and Ellen. So, what I'm going to be working with uh, will be actually Cernit Metallics. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Corinne. I have some that I've already opened, so that's what I'm going to use. And I'll show you how to do a couple things with this. So first I'm going to get the rose gold and I'm going to use one of the other ones. Let me see which of them I'm going to use to make a Skinner blend. And then I'll make a so-called stone. You know what? I'm going to use the teal and the rose gold. And then I'm going to use this is the bronze, this is ancient gold, Actually, this might be the same thing, no, they are not, one is ancient gold, one is gold, so this is what I'm going to use, hi Rusty, hi Elaine, hi Mary, and Can Janice, cats forever, I love that, Francis, Mary, hello, okay, so, First of all, um, oh yeah, and the other thing I'm going to use is two stamps. And you can use these, you don't have to use these. Uh, these are part of a set that might sound expensive, but it comes with so many stamps that it, you get to like two bucks a stamp. And yes, it is in my Amazon influencer store in the textures and stamps. And uh, but as I said, you can use any. The idea is that you will need one that's got all straight geometric lines and one that would be all squiggly. So this would be pretty much it. And then I'm going to use a round uh, cutter and Sculpey's um, mold, that plain Sculpey's mold. So first of all, I need to get me some clay for my Skinner blend. And by the way, I got questions on how do you sometimes my clay gets stuck in these um, cellophane bags. Well, and I cannot get them out. You know what I do? I simply rip the bag open <laughs> because they are so cheap, you know, and you can only reuse them for so many times because they can kind of, they get kind of dingy. And nasty but if you have issues removing the clay from them simply rip it open I usually I think I said before I usually don't um, condition a lot of clay at a time because no matter how well you have it uh, condition and how well you have it in a cellophane bag in one of those photo albums in whatever it's going still to get um, unconditioned and you're gonna still need to condition it and it's gonna still be pretty much the same job as getting it from the uh, packet so the only time I have it preconditioned like this and in cellophane is when I have leftovers because if I would open a pack a small two ounce pack yeah I will condition it all and whatever's left over I will put it in one of these and this one's this one is in a uh, clean wrap because I was too lazy to go to the kitchen <laughs> and then brought the the cellophane bags here okay so Hi Janice, hi Tina, hi Sonia, and hi Bennett. 
So I'm going to first... Oh, I'm going to first get my machine to the Sika setting, which I didn't do. gold got a little bit off now let me grab the so I'm going to do a round cabochon so my rounds around it should be fairly big I think that this should be just fine so if I go on this this is pretty much a two by two so I'm going to go for about uh goodness one by two one and a half by two just in case I get a little bit of loss so one and a half one and a quarter by two hi Susan hi Lori yeah clean wrap is great only that the problem is that you cannot store it very nicely one back and remember if you want for it to get uh, okay in the cellophane bag you always have to put it in two so it would be thick enough and heavy enough to fall to the bottom okay the same thing for this so one and a quarter by two now I want a pretty much not so much of a Skinner blend as a line blend hi Ang Senamun so I'm going to simply get this through the pasta machine several times but before I do this because let's get the things in order before I start working on the base let's have the um, stone done so it can go in the oven so I'm going to get a little bit of this Okay. And you know what? I think I'm going to use some. Let me see. It goes okay on there. And I'm gonna use, as I said, I'm gonna use the gold. And it's too bad that the Sunny Metallics doesn't have pearl white. That is such an oversight from them I cannot believe it honestly okay and one of the things that you've seen me doing so many times uh, first I'm going to get them just a bit 
flatten to get a little bit of mica sheen. Maybe a couple passes through the pasta machine. Okay, then I'll use just one more thing. I'll use a pinch of translucent. And there we go. This should make my gemstone cabochon ready. So I'm going to start simply chop it. Okay, what okay, what am I what am I missing there? Hold on, I'm missing something on the chat. I'm missing stuff on the chat. Hello Japan! Yay! Uh Konichiwa. See I see a little I know a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it's very hard today. We are supposed to have like a hundred and six or a hundred and seven high temperature with a heat index of probably over 115 so yeah it's not uh, cannot go outside i'm going to actually just lay down and do nothing once this is over and go and check if all my because i usually put uh, aluminum foil on the windows that face uh, west because even if i have that thermal film uh, there's you know that kind of film that you put on the glass it makes my kitchen windows look like stained glass still it's still getting very hot yeah the machines are really awesome yes yeah, susan let me tell you something i've been cleaning and reorganizing my studio for the last three months how about that <laughs> okay okay so let's go ahead and just do the chopping and just to be on the safer side i might give it just one whiff of mica powder let me see just to help them not get mixed so easily So that if the color of the mica powder shouldn't interfere too much, so I'm going to use an interference. So I think I grabbed the red, yes. Interference red. And I'm going to put just a little bit here. No, you know, I mean, honestly, I do have a lot of excuses. Even if I feel bad about it. Because uh, remember that the whole thing with my eyes started, even if my eyesight was not the best, and I kept saying that I need to get the control and I need to change my eyeglasses, but that's beside the point. Um, and for the ones who don't know the whole story of my eye things, I normally, because I have, to make the long story short, one of the drugs I had to take for close to five years after breast cancer uh, is a drug that uh, makes estrogen be not absorbable in your body it actually stops the estrogen gets absorbed in your body due to an enzyme that's called an aromatase and uh, that medication is part of a group of uh, medications that are called aromatase inhibitors and that is given to women who, and men 
who had uh, breast cancer and even ovarian cancer uh, that was estrogen positive. That means it was feeding on estrogen. And it is so that in case any cancer cell has escaped surgery and chemo and radiation and all that, it would be starved. Um, it's not 100%. Unfortunately, it also brings something like a... Because, you know, the side effects of menopause, among other things, are um, bone thinning, bone mass loss. Anyway, the, unfortunately, these aromatase inhibitors can uh, cause uh, osteoarthritis or if you already have some. It's like a menopause on fast forward. Fudemus. I'm trying to figure out what Feuille Mousse is. Ciao, Rosana. Un moment, c'est un... Je dois finir mon petit compte, you see. Anyway, so... Um, it, with me, it caused a very severe, very rapidly advancing osteoarthritis, especially in the neck spine. So that's why I have so many issues with my hands, because my nerves are i mean between the first and the last level of the cervical spine i practically have no discs left and i have so many bone spores spurs that even the marrow the spine marrow is constricted <clears throat> okay so after i did this i'm going to just press it so i don't have any kind of air so anyway because of that, I'm doing like twice a year, I'm doing uh, cervical shots in the cervical, I mean, shots in the cervical spine with steroids. And unfortunately, those can cause cataracts. And uh, normally, my doctor gives them to me at a two. No, you don't need color, trans, just plain translucent with mica the color in the translucent will mess up. You only need plain translucent clay, Cherry. I wouldn't use color translucent. Um, okay, so normally my doctor gives them to me. He does the right side of the spine and then two weeks later the left side. Well, in March, for the first time, he did everything at one time. So I had like nine different shots. Anyway, and that was a Friday. And by Sunday afternoon, I noticed that I was seeing foggy. I mean, not the normal myopia, you know, like looking through a steamed window. And uh, so Monday, I called my eye doctor and he immediately got me in. And anyway, that's how I got and it was just getting worse and worse and worse. So I had cataract surgery. But because of not being able to see, you know, I'm so far behind on pretty much everything, on cleaning the studio, on cleaning this house, on pretty much everything. Okay, so you saw I cut it in half and now I have these things. And I'm going, you can make it even smaller, you know, chop it even finer. And I'm going to turn it inside out, because remember, this was a cut. I'm going to turn it a little bit inside out. And then get my, see if it's enough. And get my mold of the round. And what's remaining, you can make earrings. And now remember, this can go in the oven, actually. The whole, the scalpy molds are bakeable. 
So let's try and do some earrings as good. Yes, it's Cernit. Not only Cernit has color translucent, the only one that doesn't have color translucent is Primo. Everything else pretty much has it. Pardo has it, Fimo has it, Cernit has it. Only Primo has only translucent and translucent white. That's not a big difference when you bake them. Okay, so I put the stuff I got back in and I'm going to it doesn't really help though because I'm going to have to make two for earrings so it's better to not even worry about it okay I'm going to use that teardrop oh I'm so good at measuring am I I should have cleaned this beforehand. Normally I don't put any mold release because I my normal habit is to clean these and have them very clean and then when they are very clean you don't really need mold, mold release. It just comes out like this. Where did you order from Mary? Sometimes they might be and depends on what kind you ordered because sometimes they might be out of stock and Remember it's coming from Europe Because every time I uh, ordered from clay factory myself It did happen a couple times that they didn't have one or the other You know and they just sent that later, but I didn't have a uh, any kind of problem. Je ne sais pas qu'est-ce que c'est ça, euh, 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 feuille mousse. Je devrais chercher ça, mais je peux pas le faire en ce moment parce que je travaille sur autre, autre chose. Tu peux me demander ces, ces choses sur Facebook, non, pas lorsque je fais quelque chose en live. Tu sais, c'est pas très poli ça. I'm sorry, but you know, when I don't know what something means, don't, and I say wait, don't expect me to answer right away because I'm trying to work on something. I'll be right back. I need to put this in the oven. Now let me see what the heck does Anxena want because I have no idea what famous means. I think I do, but I don't see how lacquer can be a release agent. Yeah, she means there is for me.
Euh, bon, je ne peux pas te le dire dans un scénamont parce que je dois d'abord savoir qu'est-ce que tu, as, tu essaies de faire et ensuite, envoie-moi des photos sur Facebook et je vais regarder dans le problème. Ok, now. Oh, this is one of the uh, color club holo thingies. Ok, Cécile? Can you see what does Aung San Amun want? Because she wants something. She wants a release agent for foam mold. And I don't know what she's trying to do because it would be a different thing depending on what she's trying to do. But she's talking about uh, varnish, lacquer as release. I don't understand what she wants. I'm sorry. Okay. All right, let's do the Skinner blend now. Okay. Something happened here. Hold on a second, because something happened to my... Keep saying I need to put some duct tape to fix it and uh, under the table so it wouldn't get out of the. Let's see if now it works. Nope. at least try to uh, try to understand what she wants because I cannot figure out what she wants it's something that has to do with uh, foamy sheets but she mentioned luck so I don't know what kind of lacquer she wants to use as a release agent so try to see what she wants because I cannot figure out what she wants Yeah, I need to use the duct, pa duct tape, but hold on. Okay, now we are good. So,
you know, you cannot use duct tape to epilate. I can tell you for a fact. Uh, for my molds, I first uh, wash them with the soap, a dish detergent and water and with one of those fingernail brushes. Then I let them dry or pat them dry with a towel and then I uh, put some of this on them. You know, and rub it really good. And they keep very nice. I'm getting the teal a lot into the pink, so I'm not sure how happy I am about this. But as I'm getting a lot of raggedy rags, I'm going to start using the rolling method because it goes better and it makes you get rid of the rags. The other thing, what I'm going to do, as I said, is going to be a difference here. So I'm going to first always put the release on the clay, not on the texture. I don't get what she gets static electricity for. She just wants to put metal leaf on foamies or what? start shaving. Yeah, Kato is great for uh, canes. It's pretty much the best there is for canes, Kato. And you can uh, get the, whatchamacallit, if you got the primary colors, you can get all colors just from three pretty much. I mean, you pretty much need the three primaries, black and white, and translucent, but Kato translucent is not that terrific. But if you have the three primaries and uh, black and white, you can make any color with Kato. Now also because of that um, rolling thing I did, you might get a little bit of mokumegane also, not just the mica shift. Because that does it beautifully. 
kind of the same principle as the a Skinner blend Moko Megan and I made several tutorials with and the Jelly Roll Skinner, Skinner blend is awesome for that No, it, this is what I what is called a Gilly blade. It's a very very flexible blade. I found them the first time on Amazon, but I waited for like six weeks to get it, and then I told Trish from Polyclay Play, and she was able to bring one too. And I have the long one for shaving and the short one for cane slices. You can get them really good, and it's only like five dollars for both. they are the best thing because I used to have a lot of issues uh, shaving because of my hands and since I got the Gilly blades I have no more problems whatsoever In case you weren't aware of that and now I'm going to use a yeah not all clays mix like paints the female professional does but uh, some of the primo do but souffle for example and some other primos they do not have the they have a an artist a painter palette not a true color palette but Kato is pretty much a true color and it's, there is also a um, whatchamacallit a um, color scheme with all the recipes for all the colors that you can get on, uh, on Donna Kato's website Alrighty, so I got this, now I'm going to burnish it. Uh, Gili, J-I-L-I. It should be in my Amazon Influencer Store, if you go to Blades, it should be pretty much the last one on the list because it was the first one I added. So I'm using wax paper and burnishing really good. I'm not rolling because I don't want to change the mica particles directions too much. I just want to burnish them down and see how the wax paper will tell you when you didn't have it all because you know I have here some spots where the clay did not get on the wax paper so it's leaving air in between so because of that it's going to be white Hi Patricia. Okay. 
no it feels fairly okay there's still a spot here but uh, just to give you a heads up in the old days when we didn't have so many nice blades and all that the way we were doing the mica shift was by sanding <laughs> and um, at one point I was wondering why it was looking better even if the clay was not as good as today and then I figured out what the, the whole problem was uh, when you're shaving even with the best of blades with the best sharpest blade you're still going to when you're doing this when you're shaving you're still going to turn a very superficial layer of uh, mica particles like this so the mica shift pattern obtained will be a little bit dull but if you got your mica shift whatever you did uh, I'll try and find them for you Cecile just remind me send me a message on Facebook to remind me to look for it uh, so even when you did it like this get your sand sandpaper or sanding wand or whatever and still give just one little swipe of sanding because that's when you're going to remove that very thin superficial layer of mica particles that were displaced by the blade and you will get a beautiful um thing there are a lot of people darling who have uh, mixing colors and you can find that you can find um, on each of the website of the manufacturers uh, what and most of the time you find uh, graphs with the recipes like if you put so many parts of white and one part of blue and three point parts of green you get this color I love Susan Bailey too but if you want to get the full complete understanding of what what it is uh, yeah I'm going to make another mica shift uh, but yeah generally speaking and I think I explained in the which clay to pick uh, tutorial about the mixing colors and how to get them but Primo does have the primaries and the primaries with Primo are um, cadmium yellow, cadmium yellow, um, red, and ultramarine. So, we got to this, so the next thing is to cut it. Where's my, oh, there it is, my cutter. I, I knew I had brought the cutter here. You know what? I want to do this directly on a. Uh, where is it? I have one right here. There it is. I want to place this directly on the baking surface. I don't have to manipulate it afterwards and very careful not to have wrinkles because they are going to leave a mark in the clay okay and I want to have this pretty much in the middle so
sometimes the edges might get slightly lifted but you can fix this when you're sanding okay i'm going to put this yes they were i'm going to put this in the oven and grab the cabochon the gemstone I know. Connor is feeling neglected. I can do this there we go but first I'm going to need the 400 And of course you can do it backwards, like making a, the cabochon based on teal and making the base half rust and half golden. Oh, Cecile, I forgot. Uh, you can find that blade on uh, AliExpress as well. It's super fine blade, 8 inches. And I know AliExpress ships in France.
I will uh, refocus this to show you how pretty this looks like and how much like a real mineral of some sort that you cannot put your finger on to tell what it is but you know it's something precious the 400 one takes the longest because you need to kind of shape a little bit the stone the cabochon if you have any deformities to get rid of and i kind of did because i forgot to clean my mold last time I worked with it. still trying to the higher ones and I'm gonna go straight to an 800 and essentially I'm the most interested in the round one I'm going to finish the earrings later and post a photo on Facebook and on the community just to show you how it comes out I'm going to skip a little bit. I normally don't skip. I normally would have gone 400, 600, 800, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000. But because I don't want to keep you here till tomorrow and I wouldn't be able to be here till tomorrow. I'm skipping a little. Before I do the last one, I'm going to change the focus so you can see it close up. Purchase what?
you want to check on my website there is a an article that's on the front page about the sanding solution and you can see exactly how to do it yes Cecil remind me and I will I will show send you the link Yeah, you cannot make your own, Francis. Uh, I suggest you just go to my website and check there. <sighs> Let me link the whole article and you can find there for both the US and Europe where to get stuff and the video that shows you how to how to get your own setup. Okay. Now let me Switch the focus. Are you ready for this? Let me wet it because it's huh? Huh? And you saw how easy it is to make it. And you can use all the colors of uh, certain metallics and combine them with a little bit of translucent. Yeah, I am. I actually need to go get the... But I want to finish this first. And get the pain pill. Where's my 1500? Oh, okay, that was my fingernail. I did not plan on sanding my fingernail. This is why sometimes you see me with the tip of my fingernails with no nail polish on them. As I said, the earrings, I'll finish them later. later. But uh, I think that's pretty much like 10 more minutes left for that base. And I saw that while we are waiting for that one to bake. Because I'm sorry, but I didn't have time this time to get stuff ready already made so i can only show you how to make it but already have some stuff done and yes i will also buff it here yeah i probably forgot <laughs> more than i know right now but it, it's coming back i mean it's enough an image and i remember something okay so while we are waiting I'm going to bring over my latest order from uh, Polyclipply because half of it I forgot what I got because you know I slept in the meantime so <laughs> it all had a reason to be ordered though okay so 
let let me see let me go grab real quick a pain pill and uh, grab the package Yes, and I'm doing some experiments with like three different types of clays. So, yes, I do. When I want something really nicely polished, I do. And I guess that's why my uh, my four gemstones look so good, because I take my time. I still have about, I don't know, 40 more cabochons to polish, to sand and buff. So I can start uploading them on the website and about 200 beads to varnish yeah what you need to know is that Trish is the uncontested queen of packing and she's also the only online polymer clay supplier that I know who uses thermal packaging so even if uh, uh, she ships something to you in the heat of summer I mean I'm talking clay it will still not get there baked No, um, I explained before and I should probably make a separate tutorial just on, gra on that. Up to like even a thousand, you are shaping and removing imperfections. But you can do that. Sometimes I start with 120. Um, but the thing is that you need to get through successive um, grits because each higher grit will remove the scratches that the lower grit has left on your piece. And if you go only with the higher grit, then um, you will not remove all the prints and all the everything. Yeah, you have to buff to get the magic moment. Judy is right. You'll see the magic moment. Okay, let's see what I got. And I'm gonna look. I know I got some modes. I know that. Because I wanted to go for, with some more basic stuff. Ay. Ish. I need the scissors. Remember what I posted on Facebook about scissors? Yeah. It's about that.
Yeah, starting with high grit to get a proper buff, you'll need to work for maybe two hours. I always start with low grit, and my sponsors know because I showed quite a few times. And I think that I showed in at least one or two uh, YouTube tutorials that uh, you don't have to worry about making beautiful edges and perfect edges with the raw clay because sanding does that in a few minutes. But the down to using the low grit to shape is that you need to use successive higher grits to remove each higher grit as I said removes the scratches the lower grit uh, has left okay yeah I know that I got a lot of the new piñatas and some piñatas I didn't have so these will have to go in the lipstick organizer that I use for so I got let me get my readers I'm so unused to use readers okay so I got the brass I didn't have the brass I had only the pearl the gold and the silver and I got the copper too so we're gonna do some really neat stuff remember the um, oh my god how is that called when water gets sucked up by a thin tube that's a property of water and I explained it before when I was explaining how to do the for enamel cloisonne using Judikin's diamond it's water something but then I used it when I did the dragon skin bracelets but we're gonna do some stuff with the same thing I'll remember eventually Okay, golden yellow. This is one of the new colors. <laughs> this is pink. It's also a new color. Teal is also a new color. Lime green is not a new color, but I didn't have it. I only had it in Ranger. And remember, I avoid using Ranger because it's not waterproof. Blue violet is a new color, so it should be indigo. Sangria, if I'm not mistaken, is not a new color, but I didn't have it. And then Santa Fe red and tangerine. These I think are new. I think. In any way. Okay. And then I got these for the liquid clays because remember I have all the liquid clays I think she sent me more than I ordered yeah I think that this is just from her I know I ordered this hmm I don't know, she's definitely sent me more than I ordered. She does that all the time. Okay, then... I got this because I thought we're gonna do some neat stuff with it. And because a lot of you keep asking me to do a fairy house. Capillary action. Thank you. Thank you. I know it's a combination of chemo brain and a CRS syndrome. Can't remember. You know what? Okay, come on, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, this must also be supposedly just for the. No, it can definitely be used with the clay as well. But see, we have some fairy... F I think we're gonna make some fairy wings with this. With resin, probably. 
we're gonna do a lot of pretty stuff with this and then this i never got it and i was like why the heck didn't i ever get this one because it's got so many shapes of uh uh focals and you can make so many awesome stuff you know i mean look you can make tiered stuff. I mean, it's got for the earrings already done. See, here, this is the only thing that I wouldn't have done like this. Unless the bottom is the same as the top. You kind of need one to be backwards. I don't know. We'll see. But we'll definitely do stuff with this. Then, the other mode is one with boho and these are all uh, oven safe so you can definitely use the liquid clay in them without having to fight that heat gun more than necessary and by the way i have to thank you all because i'm able to get all these and test them for you because you are kind enough and use my affiliate link so I get credit with the store to get these as I said for every order you put in using my affiliate link I get uh, a few cents credit per item without your price getting higher okay this is really neat boho yeah oh look this is for i guess this is for geodes we're gonna make some geodes we're gonna try some resin geodes with this one <laughs> it's gonna be cool okay okay neat. and there's one more i only ordered three but i guess she sent me six Huh? Hold on. Or maybe no, this is the second page. No, how many did I order? Oh yeah, I ordered the butterfly and the joint. No, it's okay. She only sent me one. Okay, that's good. I told you I slept since. So. Maybe I don't know what that is. She sent me something else because I don't see. Oh, she sent me more Sculpey beige. Beige. Because she knows I'm running out of uh, of uh, scrap clay sometimes. So when she has leftovers, she's sending me. And yes, I have a surprise for you. We'll work on that. And that's what I'm going to use all this beige for. Okay. Uh. Oh, yes. And this was because I wanted to use it with the regular to make some bezels. Did I put it back? Yeah. With this one. These are bezels for this one. Okay. You have all the, the same thing to make bezels and you can make just half bezels or you can make the full bezel fill it all the way and then you just place the cabochon in it but i'll show you if you never worked with this i'll show you. it's almost like the cab bezels from canada only not so fancy and expensive <laughs> i'm sorry i mean i know they are very expensive but in the case of cab bezels kind of worth it you know i don't like price gougers Talking of which, yes, I know, I still have to make that video about a Lucy Slicer. And I will. I promise I will. Let me put this down. Oh, there was one more. In. Coral. This is a new. Coral is a new. Mm, 
No, I don't have a tutorial about beading moccasins. Uh, yeah, and I have, uh, just uh, to warn you, I have them in the Amazon Influencer Store under Organizers. My advice is go to your local Dollar Tree, go to your local um, Big Lots. You will find them way cheaper than on Amazon, okay? Okay, so one is a lipstick holder slash um, nail polish holder, and the other one is also a cosmetics holder. But this is the kind of stuff that I use. And these are homemade alcohol inks with alcohol and permanent markers. It's from the time I had no money and no alcohol inks. I just went and I paid uh, two bucks for the alcohol ink one buck for a set of six permanent markers from the Dollar Tree and I already had these henna applicators in the house I mean in this whole thing the henna applicator bottle cost you the most because they are around 80 or 90 cents but you come down to like a dollar per you know I just don't get me wrong, if it was just for me, I would go just for this, but I'm getting this essentially to test them and then to be able to put out um, tutorials and reviews so you know when to buy and what to buy. Okay, give me just a minute to put these back. And yeah, these are resin colors, they are not alcohol inks. I'll show this to you too when I get there. Yeah, I told you I have so much stuff to show you, and I'm so far behind with all my issues. And someone at one point was uh, like, why would I give you money to test things for me? Because I can test them for myself. I don't, number one, you don't have to give me money, you know. Number two, go ahead and buy all those and see for yourself which is the best, which is not the best. Because this is the whole deal about supporting an artist they go and test everything for you and they come can come back and tell you don't waste your money by buying that you know yeah they work pretty good if you the only thing is to make sure that you get permanent markers because uh, most of the markers out uh, are the dry erase boards so you have to be very careful what you pick especially if you're like me that you look at something real hard check all sides of it and then you put it back think if you want it and then you're gonna grab the thing right next to it and put it in your cart and not see that until you get back home that's what i do all the time it's like why in the world did i spend five minutes checking this thing out Oh, this was from um, Polly Clay Play. I am her affiliate. Okay. That means that people can support me without paying any. Yeah, I cannot have a super chat without uh, monetizing my channel, unfortunately. And I had promised that I will never monetize my channel. Because this is just for you to learn not to be annoyed by ads maybe I will monetize it at the point where I cannot do yeah 
I use these mirror tiles. You can find them both on, on Trish's website and on my Amazon influencer store. They are really good to work on. Uh, so as I was uh, saying, maybe when I will be too affected by this whole spine issue that I won't be able to work, then yeah, probably then I will monetize my channel. But until then, no. If you want to support me, you can donate, you can become a sponsor, you can uh, buy stuff from Amazon, from my influencer store, from polyclay play and that one it doesn't cost you anything extra you know because i just get to uh, no i have a donation button and you can choose whatever you want and as i said if you buy from my influencer store from my affiliate link with polyclay play uh it doesn't cost you anything i just get a few pennies for everything that you're buying and with the amazon influencer i chose to have uh, gift cards for Amazon and with the um, polyclay play I get uh, credit yeah they are negative Nancy's I remember like the one that I posted yesterday about you like oh it's I, I love your videos but it's so bad that we have to wait so long well uh, I am sorry you know what are small enough uh, what are small enough to move around? I lost it. Oh, these ones? Yeah. And I showed, if you look at the... Oh, no, because in that one I didn't have them. Give me just a second. Give me just a second and me bring one from the kitchen. Because I don't have any okay if you look bye Chris if you look uh, I think the latest live I did was the one from Lowe's where I went to Lowe's to show you where you can find stuff and unfortunately they didn't have these these you can find in the small tiles section and um, normally I don't encourage you to try and get these ones even if they are the cheapest they are like 40 cents a piece because most of the time they have a dip in the middle so I prefer to get the glass ones even if they are over a dollar a piece but these are the best thing to bake focals you know you put a piece of paper your piece another piece of paper and the tile to keep them perfectly flat they are the absolute best thing to do that. I, okay. Now, let's get on to this and then we are going to bath. And I'll do the final bake and offline and just post a photo of the finished. But we'll finish the whole piece and ready to put in the oven. Did I put the 400 here? Yeah, I did. Okay, so normally I don't take it off the baking blank before sanding it. Okay, so when you get it, you get... This is actually this pad. The This is a pedicure wand. And it comes with uh, some discs that are not good at all for what we need. This pad comes from a um, set of uh, sanding discs with a thing for a drill, for a hand drill. But what I do, I just take that pad and I glued it with Loctite. I left it overnight and now you can only, all these discs, they have this soft thingy and the pad has Velcro. 
and I usually wet them before putting them on. Yeah, you can go to Home Depot as well. Now, you'll see what a huge difference it will make once I sand it. See, I have here a little bit of So I use the 400 to remove any unevenness and now I'm going to go higher to remove the scratches from the 400. Okay, 400, 600. And the only one I'm gonna pass is the 1000. See how it starts changing? It gets much better. Okay, 800. And then I'll show you how to finesse the edge. And then we buff. Okay. It's got a little speed dial. And this was because I've been looking, people who follow me for a long time know that I've been trying all kinds of uh, uh, things for sanding. I had the Electro Fast and it was a big disappointment. Uh, but especially with my hands condition, I really needed something to help me with sanding. And when I found this and I tried it and it worked, I was like, oh my god, finally. Okay, and now let's do the edges. I'm gonna go back to the 400. And let's get this thing off. Okay, now you see it's got all kinds of rough edges here, so we're gonna take care of that. Okay. See how you remove all those nasty and little and you don't have to worry about them at all about fixing them before you bake and now just a little bit I 
I could put a backing on it, but I'm not gonna because it's going to be heavy enough when, when the cabochon gets put on it. And of course I'm going to sand the back. Oops, excuse me. Alright, and now I'm going to just jump to six hundred to eight hundred for the sides and the back. Of course, if you want to put a uh, backer, that's fine. Yes, Shelly, it is on Amazon and it is in my Amazon Influencer Store. There are actually several because they change price. So that day, one of them might be cheaper or another one might be cheaper. And I explained. Uh, just be very careful don't um, make sure that they are with the prime because otherwise you might have to wait forever yeah you can find them cheaper but what costs five dollars Yeah, you cannot share those links in the chat. And if you go to my Amazon Influencer store, look for the sanding. Hold on, let me get you the link. But you can always find uh, the link on my channel. Okay, and if you look there, look for the sanding section, and you'll find several of them. And I said before with the sanding discs, if you find cheaper ones, make sure that, number one, make sure that they are two inches, and number two, make sure you don't get any of those that are reddish. Oh, that's cheap that's really cheap okay let me go to the a kitchen get rid of the water and bring the buffer and we'll watch the magic okay I'll be right back
Well, if I ever finish organizing and cleaning and everything, I will uh, be able to take you in my kitchen with the live where I have my sanding and buffing station and uh, the rock tumbler and everything to show you how to work that. It's the same, it's in the same place, Isabel. The discs that come with the pedicure wand are not good for polymer clay. Okay, you know what? Give me just a minute because I need to do something. I cannot get interrupted all the time like this. Just a minute. Okay. I'm trying to find the uh, scrolling. Okay, I got it. the freaking scrolling thing There we go. No. No, there are several sets, Ellen, and it depends on uh, on the set. That's why I have there several sets. I personally bought three different sets, and one of them I am... Uh, uh, getting 
more often because it's got the lower and the higher that I use the most. Okay, now let's get into the sanding. I'm going to try and get the focus, uh, the camera to zoom so you can uh, see better when I'm working on stuff. Okay, this looks fairly good. No, it's not perfectly. Give me just a second. Yeah, I said that the buffer needs to be at least 5,000. I said several times. Okay. Now remember, if you're working with the flex shaft, make sure that you don't bend this flex shaft because you can break it. Don't bend it more than 30 degrees. That's why it's a little difficult for me to do this here at the working table. Okay. No, 
okay so you can see let me grab my microphone back you can see how it all looks like once it's sanded and buffed and what we are going to do now is to place this one in the middle of the other one do a little bit of uh, setting around it and the bail and we will have an absolutely fabulous mica shift pendant that's all based only on the mica shift effect okay so let me grab the I think I'm going to use what do I want to use for the setting yeah so do I need to go get a cup of coffee to let you discuss about all the other stuff here or maybe we can leave it for next time I think that would be the best and if anybody wanted to see more thank Darlene and Cherry for this. Thank you.